Hola, doctora Oakley. Soy Claudia y mi pregunta para ustedes es eh, si nos podría dar algún consejo útil que nos sirva para aprender algo que queramos. I think what a lot of people don't realize, um, it, because it's very new and very recent from neuroscience research, is that our brains have two completely different networks in them. It's like, here's this network, here's another network. They're very different. One is the network we use when we're focusing on things. And the other is the network we use when we're not focusing on anything at all. We're just standing in the shower, going for a walk. Thoughts will come up, but they, they aren't really very, um, they're not focused on things and you're not directing those thoughts. So when you're learning, you often need to go back and forth between this focused and more diffused, relaxed network. Um, so you, a lot of times what people think is that the only time you're actually learning something is when you're focusing. But that's not true. When you are relaxing and maybe thinking about something different, then on the first topic, your brain is working away in the background. You're not aware of it, but it is. And then when you return to that first topic, suddenly it begins to make better sense. So I think if, if the first tip in learning well is realizing that if you can't figure something out that's really hard, the first time you sit down to look at it, well, that's perfectly okay. That's, in fact, that's quite normal to happen. Sure, there are some people who can sit down and figure things out really quickly, but if you have to go back and forth, focusing, taking a break, focusing again, you, in some ways, can understand the material even more deeply. So it, it can actually be beneficial if you're a, a little bit of a, what I call a hiker brain, someone who, who you get to the finish line, but much more slowly you, than the person with a, a race car brain. So I guess that's, you know, just realizing that you have to, um, that learning often involves focusing, taking a break, you know, or working on something else. That's a, a good tip for learning. A second tip is the Pomodoro technique. Uh, when we're teaching the course Learning How to Learn, so it's got almost two and a half million registered students now. It's one of the biggest massive open online courses in the world. And I hear from students all over the world and their number one issue in learning is procrastination. I really didn't want to learn this right now. Uh, and, and now we know if you even just think about something you don't particularly want or like, uh, want to do or, or like to do, it activates the insular cortex, which is a portion of the brain that experiences pain. So what does your brain do? It says, oh, well, let's just switch our attention and then suddenly you feel better, but you've just procrastinated. So uh, the Pomodoro technique was invented by an Italian, Francesco Cirillo, uh, in the 1980s, and it's so simple. You just turn off all distractions, so no little ringy dingies on your cell phone or pop-ups on your computer, set a timer for 25 minutes, and then focus as intently as you can for 25 minutes, realizing that your mind may go off right, because sometimes you just get distracted, so just bring it back, do the Zen thing, oh, oh no, focus again. And then when you're done with those 25 minutes, you just reward yourself. So by reward yourself, I mean play your favorite song, have a cup of coffee, get up and move around, maybe play a bit of video game. If you have trouble getting back, set another timer for your break. But this technique is really, uh, I hear from people around the world, it is such a popular and helpful technique, uh, so I highly recommend it. Mm -hmm.